Please welcome Edgar Ramirez. Stop you from well, I, no, you no, want, no, 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 Go ahead, do it if you want to do it. I got to do it. You, you, I, I, I saw you do it. it. So. Well, I'm afraid, I'm afraid that's all we have time for. Thank you so yeah, much no, for thank stopping you. by. That was it. Thank you so much. My first time on a Broadway stage. Really? It's first yeah. time on a Broadway stage? Yeah, well, welcome. My, uh, welcome. Thank you so much. My first time on a talk show. So. Well, you didn't start off as an actor, did you? Uh, no. As a journalist. A uh, journalist? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so you decided to... Side of, yeah. yeah, you were looking for the truth and decided to make up things I instead. actually was looking for the... <laughs> I was looking for the truthiness. Oh, the truthiness. We've come to the right yeah, place, I'm my a friend. big fan. Yeah, well, fan. thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much. You're from Venezuela, I'm right? I'm from Venezuela, How yeah. did you guys do in the Olympics? Venezuela, I got it. Yeah, we, we did great. We did great. We got, we got three medals, one silver, two bronze. Oh, congratulations. And we got, actually, actually in boxing, Joel Finol, he got, in fl flight weight, he got bronze medal. So. Uh, you are playing Roberto so, yeah. Duran. Yeah. For, yeah. Sure. You're playing Roberto Duran in this new movie, uh, Hands of Stone. Yeah. And uh, he has more knockouts than Tyson, right? More victories than Ali. He was a uh, huge talent for those who don't remember yeah. Duran. Yeah. Um, too many people remember him for the No Mas fight, where yeah. he said, like, he stopped when he was fighting yeah, Sugar Ray. Yeah. Um, did you box before you did this role? No, no, never. First time. First time. I mean, I never, I never boxed. I mean, I was, I was presented with the opportunity to portray this character, and I moved to Panama for over a year to prepare. And I had the privilege to be trained by Duran, so he was the one who trained me, and really in yeah, Panama. In Panama. Uh, in Panama. He he lives down there now. He lives down there. He has a happy life, you know. But he was, you know, he's a he's a he's quite a character. And he's still see. sharp because a lot of boxers. He's very, no, he's very sharp. Because he was never he was never hit in the head, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he was. That's really, the best kind of boxer to be. Because yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is a vital organ up here. Exactly. Yeah, and actually, and actually makes your mind very sharp, very very sharp. Actually, he was the. He was, he was the... What do you mean your, it makes your mind very, very sharp? Very sharp, because you have to make many decisions very quickly in a very short period of time. I mean, when you're in the ring for three minutes, you have to make too many choices, and it makes your mind, your mind sharper, like more accurate, like more So when you, when you were training for this, did you get yeah. punched in the face? I, I, was, I got punched in the face, but not in the ring. I got punched. In, no, exactly. Not in not not in the boxing scene. Wow, that sounds, there's a story there. Yeah, right? so. there, I mean there are two stories actually. Because ironically enough, I got punched in the face by the women in the movie. <laughs> um, there's there's one scene where things objects are flying all over and uh, and one just landed on my nose and caught it and I had to stop uh, shooting for five days and then there was this other scene where um you know yeah there's some women in the scene and then my wife finds me there. She's, of course, not happy, mm -hmm. and she calls me gross, and then hits me in the head with, it, with her hand, but she, she was wearing this big ring, and they gave me the biggest bomb that actually you would see a little bit in the film. So now, to continue the story, you'll have to go and see it. <laughs> is uh, growing up in Venezuela and, and, and playing a Panamanian, yeah. is there a, to someone like me who, like, does not really have well-versed in South American or Central American culture, yeah. is there a difference in your in the accent between Venezuelan and Panamanian? No, there's a difference, yeah, there's a difference. I mean, they're can very... Show me, is there a way you could demonstrate the difference? Sure, what, in Spanish or in, in English? Or? Uh, how uh, about in English, like a Panamanian English... English a Panamanian yeah. speaking English versus a Venezuelan yeah. speaking English. Okay, so uh, a Venezuelan speaks English like me. So, okay. that's just... <laughs> there you go. Pretty, yeah. You're nailing it. <laughs> I nailed that. You're nailing it. You know, that's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, yeah. So this is, this is how Venezuelans speak English. And a uh, Panamanian would be, because they have very explosive P's and B's. So it would be like, uh, there's, a, there's a line in the scene when I say, uh, are you calling me fat? Are you coming to my house and you're calling me fat? You're a parasite. Do you have mirrors in your house? Because you're getting fat. You're getting fat <laughs> from all the food that you're buying with the money that I'm making you. So it's like very explosive. So, you, so fat and... Um, do, you, and do, you, uh, yeah. do, you, do you actually think I'm fat? Uh, <laughs> 
No, you're not working fat. on it. I'm uh -huh. working on it. You're not fat. No, you're, no. you're not. You're not. Yeah, whatever. I can't yeah. believe you. Know. That, I mean, <laughs> you're beautiful in all sizes. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, Edgar, congratulations. Thank you so much. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet Thank you. Thank you for being yeah, here. Thank you. Let's hug it out. Thank Come you, guys. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Please. Hands of Stone, his theater's body. Edgar Ramirez, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by Kim.